Anand Fellowship's uh, raison d'etre is really to instill four key values in all of our fellows. Um, our fellows, of course, today are young people, but tomorrow are going to be leaders, uh, visionaries and policy makers for the built environment. And um, the way we're thinking about is to say is that, you know, if 10, 15 years from now, these people are going to be in positions of responsibility, then what kind of values or skills do they need to operate with? Uh, for us to start seeing a difference in, in the world around us. The built environment is actually developed by human beings for human beings. Uh, but oftentimes we see that uh, the needs, the behaviours or the thought process of the people who are going to be using that space is not really taken into consideration at the stage of design. The belief is that you know if you have to change the output, uh, then the input and the process really needs to change we start putting the skills of empathy really front and center, that's when we start looking at inputs differently. That's when we're going to start looking at uh, the problem differently. That's when we're going to start looking at uh, the approach differently. And that's how the output is going to change. We ultimately believe that uh, all fields and all design and all work should really be about three things. So the first being, how does it uphold the dignity of people? The second being, how does it help us create a more equitable world? And the third is, how does it not negatively impact the health of our planet? This is really how we came down to defining the mission of Anand Fellowship, which is really to nurture and empower solutionaries who are going to design, build and preserve a more equitable and sustainable built environment. There are several things about Anand Fellowship that make it a very unique program. Uh, the first being that um, our structure and our pedagogy. So the four skills that I spoke about, empathy, leadership, collaboration and problem solving, uh, these are not skills that can be taught in the classroom. There is no module that you can give to somebody and expect them to suddenly start becoming empathetic. Uh, these skills can only be developed through practice. Uh, and they can only be developed when people are put in uncomfortable situations. Um, and of course, during this process of, you know, uncomfort and discomfort that one has to go through, uh, you need the right kind of mentors, you need the right kind of guidance to support you. Otherwise, you know, you could uh, end up being a confused mess. So Anand Fellowship is really about uh, creating enough of these uncomfortable situations that are going to push our fellows out of, you know, what they're comfortable with um, and providing the right kind of mentorship and guidance to enable and scaffold their learning process. The Anand Fellowship is a one-year program unlike uh, most master's programs which are two years and most master's programs if you see focus on a particular area of expertise uh, whereas Anand Fellowship has been consciously created to be a very broad-based program. When you look at the problem you look at it more holistically um, and when you look at the solutions, you also look at the solutions more holistically. We are amongst the few programs uh, in the country and maybe in the world uh, which is very consciously trying to create diversity in terms of the class composition. See, when we talk about complex problems, there are multiple nuances to that problem. Uh, it's not like you can just solve one part of it and, and think that the entire problem is solved. So unless that diversity you consciously build in, uh, the process is not going to be enriching. We have uh, several national and international faculty who have come into the program to you know, interact with our fellows, to spend time with our fellows, to really push their thinking. Um, and all of them have gone back thoroughly impressed by what we are trying to do. Access to these kind of mentors and these people uh, who are visionaries in their field uh, is what you know Anand Fellowship offers as a very tangible benefit to anyone who comes into the program. So we are now even more committed to our mission of nurturing young, thoughtful, passionate solutionaries who would relentlessly go on to redefine the building environment.